Hey everybody, welcome back to the brand new video. Today we are doing a face-off Friday and we are going to pit the 2022 Topps Chrome Hobby Box against the brand new 2022 Topps Cosmic Chrome. There is two autographs per box in Chrome. There's zero guaranteed autographs in Cosmic Chrome and... However, Cosmic Chrome's more expensive. These boxes, I paid $260 for my box at Midwest Cards. Most places now have them for around $250-ish. And the Chrome Hobby boxes now are down to around $175 or so. We're going to include a silver pack with the Hobby box um, as was sent on by Tops. So there's that as well. The way Face Off Friday works is we just open up the packs and we see which box was better. I always like to give my opinion of which is going to win. And I am going to guess that Cosmic Chrome is going to win because I think that the parallels could potentially be better. And also, I think the overall rookie class is much stronger. Uh, in Tops Chrome Hobby, you have O'Neill Cruz. And Wander Franco, and that's pretty much it. So all the other good rookies are in Cosmic Chrome. So let's go ahead and bring in our sponsor for this video. It is Keith. Keith, thank you very much for sponsoring this video. If you would like to sponsor a video like this one or participate in any of our case breaks or live streams, check us out on Patreon. There is a link in the description for you to sign up if you would like to. And uh, if you get on board today, you can sign up for our Saturday showdown tomorrow where we will be breaking Topps Chrome Cosmic or Topps Cosmic Chrome. I, I seem to see it most places as Cosmic Chrome, but they switched the order there in the box, so it kind of throws me for a loop. But anyway, let's go ahead and see what we've got for Keith. Good luck, Keith. In the preview video, we hit an autograph, which was pretty nice. It was a very cold video. I actually filmed that one outside on my way to Dayton, Ohio, and um, it was like 32 degrees, extremely windy and cold. And uh, we got it done, though, and now it's here in my nice warm house. Get to look at Cosmic Chrome in the official, I guess, Jabs Family Studio or whatever you want to call it. So let's go ahead and rip this open and see what we can find. We will be keeping an eye out for all the parallels in here. There's plenty to go around. They are all related to cosmic vocabulary, like... There's one nucleus refractor per box, a blue moon refractors out of 190, or out of a 99 actually, gold interstellar refractors out of 50, orange galactic refractors out of 25, black eclipse refractors out of 10, red flare refractors out of five, and then of course, the super fractor. There's a rocket arms Max Scherzer. We've got a Yadier Molina. This one is not numbered, sweet card though, and there's Byron Buxton to wrap up pack number one. All together, again, there are 20 packs. And if you missed the preview video in Cosmic Chrome, there are 200 cards in the base set, and all the good rookies are there. Autographs, about one in every three boxes. We have our first rookie, I think. It's Seth Beer. I guess we'll toss that in the maybe pile. I highly doubt it's going to make the top five. What I do with the boxes, I take out the top five cards. Then we have a Seiya Suzuki. Chris Bryant, insert card there. And we've got a Manny Machado. So we have our first numbered card. This one will be out of 50. It is a gold. The official name, once again, is the Gold Interstellar. I don't expect you to remember that. I just would call it a gold if I were you. That's out of 50. A nice Manny Machado out of 50, and Matt Vierling is the last one in that pack. So the Manny Machado is probably the number one card so far. There's Teoscar Hernandez. A lot of you probably will maybe think of this as Topps Fire. It looks so much like Topps Fire. Topps, they should have just called it Topps Fire Chrome. Launched into orbit, Tatis insert card right there. Moving on to the next one, next pack up. We've got an Aaron Judge, who's also the cover boy of the box and just deemed the MVP and another MVP right after him. We've got Paul Goldschmidt as well. DJ LeMay, Hugh, and Ozzie Albies. So both MVPs in that pack. Moving on to the next one, Tyler Meggles right there. We've got Chris Sale coming up. It's going to be a Rocket Arms card, insert card. And 
There's the Megul. So I don't, maybe, you know what? Maybe Cosmic Chrome is gonna lose here. I don't know. I certainly, I said this in the preview video, I don't think it's worth $260 per box without a guaranteed autograph in there. There's Andrew Vaughn. I mean, you're gonna get some parallels and stuff like that. But um, if I, if, if you just gave me this product without any knowledge of the price point or whatever and just said, okay, all right, what would you price this out at? I honestly would probably go around maybe like 109 is what my suggestion would be. There's a David Fletcher refractor and Colton Welker. If I looked over the sell sheet, I would probably go 109 for Cosmic Chrome. Here we go with the next one. There's Locaine. I guess time will tell if that price stays around $250 or so per box. Now we have seen... <laughs> Tops Chrome Hobby just absolutely nosedive. Hey, we got Wander Franco. Very nice. Wander Franco. Rookie card. One of the top ones in the set. So that's nice. Brandon Marsh as well. And we have an Anthony Rendon. It is a blue moon out of 99. These are pretty cool um, parallels for sure. We've got Javi Baez on the back as well. So I, I like the fact that you get some numbered cards in here. We got a Brandon Crawford, two Brandon Crawfords. O'Neill Cruz comes out as well. Very nice. So another one of the top rookies. O'Neill Cruz, JT Rail Muto there as well. And we move on to the next pack. We've got Dylan Carlson. And we have an autograph, Mitch Hanniger. It is a black eclipse, I think, out of 10. Let's take a look. I see a little bit of uh, kind of cool little action going on there. A Mitch Hanniger autograph. I have had some good luck with the Chrome Cosmic, and it is indeed a Black Eclipse out of 10, numbered 6 of 10 for Keith. So, Keith, congratulations. That is going to likely be the number one card of this video. So I'll put it up there in the number one spot of the box. Congratulations on that. Very, very nice Mitch Hanniger card. As we continue on, let's see what else. We've got a Jose Altuve. There's a launch into orbit. A-Rod. Now, Mitch Hanniger is not the biggest name or anything like that, but just finding an autograph when you're not expecting one will get you excited for sure. We've got Tony Santillan and also a Jake Myers to go along with Xander Bogarts, who is a free agent. Next pack up, we've got about, oh, I don't know, five packs left or so. There's Max Kepler, and we've got the J-Rod, Julio Rodriguez. There it is. Looked for this card in the preview video and came up a little short, didn't find it. There's the Julio Rodriguez. Now, folks, I'm actually probably going to put this card at number two, right behind the autograph out of 10. I know we have some numbered cards in this video, but that is, that's a great card right there. And that's what I mentioned at the beginning of the video when you had a chance at pulling some of the better rookies. Tops Chrome. Hobby, like I said, there's really kind of a boring checklist with it. Now, you do have a chance to pull some short prints in those silver packs if you can get a silver pack from whoever you're buying it from. Hey, Jeremy Pena, very nice. Another one of the top rookies. So we'll put that one aside. That one will probably make the top five. Potentially, we'll see. Next up, Jaron Duran, John Carlo. We've got a Wilson Contreras and Dansby Swanson. Two packs left. For Keith, let's see what we can find here. Fidel Brujan, Santian Refractor, Jonathan Indian, Zach Wheeler. And in our final pack, we have the following. Let's see what we've got. Willie Adames, Gary Sanchez. We've got an Andrew McCutcheon and a Vladdy as the last one there. All right, so here's my top five. The first two, I already kind of determined those. I'll leave those there. Jeremy Payne is probably going to make it. O'Neill Cruz is also up for consideration. The Wander Franco, the Machado as well. And at the beginning, I was like, oh, I better put aside some of these other cards just in case. Rendon's not going to make it. So I'm going to have to go with, man, this is a tough, tough call. I'm going to put Jeremy Pena over Wander Franco and O'Neill Cruz coming off of the World Series Championship and the MVP award for the World Series. I'm going to go with, man, this is tough. I'll probably go with the Manny, number four. 
And actually, the Manny Machado is probably going to be worth more than the Jeremy Pena. Now that I think about it, since it's out of 50, that one's going to probably go for just a tad bit more. And in the five spot, I've got to choose between O'Neill Cruz and Wander Franco. That's a tough choice right there. These guys are both pretty much, for me, on the same level. But as a uh, Pirates guy, I guess i got to go with O'Neill Cruz there. So that's the lineup that I'm going with for the Cosmic Chrome Box as the top five. I think it might be tough to beat. We'll see. We're going to bring in now a hobby box of chrome and see if it can knock it off. There's two autographs in here, so there are guaranteed autos, which will help some, but the autographs are more likely going to be just, uh, I kind of call them B or C level rookie autos most of the time. But you never know, we could pull like a Wander Franco or Spencer Strider does have an autograph in this checklist as well. We also have this silver pack that we'll open up at the end. If we do pull a J-Rod short print in there, that'll be all she wrote. And this box will end up winning this face-off. So here we go. We've done Chrome a bunch. So I think I'm going to super rip it. And uh, that just means I'm going to rip a whole bunch of packs at once. Then we'll go through them all and see what we can find. By the way, once again, I hope you'll join us tomorrow for our Saturday showdown. It should be a fun one. I've got some Tops Update. I've got some Chronicles. I've got Cosmic Chrome. Um, just adding a case of Legendary Cuts with all those Hall of Fame autos and relics inside. What else do we have in there? I think I have a case of 2021 Update to do. I've got some Chrome Jumbos to do. So a whole bunch of different options out there in the showdown tomorrow. I also have a video that I'm going to be posting at some point here, likely this weekend. It's a tour of Midwest Cards. Went to their their physical location. Some of you may have bought some of their stuff from them online. So we'll be checking them out. Very, very neatly organized store. I do see a purple coming up. So far, nothing that's going to Warrant consideration for the maybe piles, I call it. Now, heck, maybe Roanzi Contreras should, just to make sure we have some players to choose from. Gavin Sheets, maybe I'll put him in there too. I'm guessing the top five are going to end up being two autos and then whatever parallels we get. There's a Corbin Burns Prism Refractor. We have a Max Muncy Purple. This one is going to be numbered out of 299. So got a numbered card at least. There's Ryan Zimmerman, now retired. Shoyo Tani Refractor is a nice one. That's going to get some consideration. We have a Heart of the City card there in Jose Altuve. Still no autographs. There's one, Riever San Martin. So again, probably like a B or C level rookie auto. Not a ton of value in this card right now. Next up. Nothing else really going on in that other pack. So the big wild card is going to be the silver pack. I think right now that uh, Cosmic Chrome is sitting pretty. I think um, I'm pretty confident that they are going to end up taking this face-off Friday and being a better box. I guess that would make sense since it is a more expensive box. But like I said, I don't know if it's going to stay up there around 250 or not. A lot of times new releases will come out. When there's a lot of demand for them, the prices will be higher. And then once the demand cools off, those prices start to fall a bit. So that'll be a fun one to keep an eye on. I know some of you folks in the comments said that Cosmic Chrome looks really cool and you're super excited for it. Others of you said you're not that impressed. Some people called it a cash grab. Some people were a little disappointed that there's no autographs. But it's, you know, it's still a fun rip. Just wish it wasn't so expensive. Let's take a look at the second half of this Chrome box and see which box ends up being better. There's Alec Manoa, who was a finalist for the Cy Young Award. Prism Refractor, we've got a pinstripe Christian Yelich. That's not too special. Don't get too excited about that. Just kind of a common insert. There's a Pete Alonso 87. Second autograph will be coming up, and here it is. It's Ronnie Dawson, Houston Astros rookie, Ronnie Dawson. So, as expected, both autos are kind of ho-hum. And we'll see if we can find O'Neill Cruz or Wander Franco here as we wrap up this Chrome box. There's Miggy. I would not be surprised. There's Cal Raleigh's a good card. I'm going to put that one aside. He might be the number three rookie in this set. Number one and or two. Depending on how you look at it, it's going to be Cruz or Wander Franco. I think those are the consensus. 
one and two, shake them up, whatever which way you want to. But uh, Kyle Rowley's got to be there as well, probably at number three on that list. But let's check out the silver pack. Technically, this is going to count as part of the box. We got a Jean Carlos Stanton upside down, faked us out, and a manual class A refractor. So just a bunch of uh, just regular cards there. So. Here's my leaders. I'm going to go with the Ronnie Dawson 1, position player, rookie auto. We have San Martin 2. I'll go with Shohei Otani 3, refractor. And then after that, it's I'm going to go with Max Muncy since it's numbered and Cal Rally number 5. So there's the lineup of the top cards from that box. And I think that it uh, is just an absolute slam dunk this time. The Cosmic Chrome wins that one with the Black Eclipse, Hanniger out of 10, and the J-Rod. Heck, you know what? <laughs> All things considered, I would probably take the J-Rod over that entire row just by itself. And uh, so that was a blowout today, folks. So thank you very much for watching this episode of Face Off Friday. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. We do videos every single day. So tap that notification bell as well so whenever we post a new video or go live, you will get a little notification in the YouTube app to let you know that we have posted a new video. So folks, have a great weekend. Thank you very, very much for watching, and I will see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody.